Frog? <laughs> yeah, we don't, I mean, our friends love it, but we don't We like it when it's done well, but it's hard to find done well. Yes, so when we buy it, when we taste it, it's done well, which is one out of like a hundred, we'll buy it. So we have very little in one of them here. So. Very good. That's mm -hmm. cool. That is cool. Very cool. All right, so so we're tasting the Merlot. We were just talking about the the Cap Franc, which, to be honest with you, I can't wait to get to. So, but in the meantime, we got to get through the Merlot first, which is also a privilege for me too, because you don't see straight Merlot. Right, and the one thing also about his girl select wines is that he makes them very bold, very powerful. They're yeah. big red, so. Yeah. So which one? We have the 2006 uh, Vendelac. 2006 Merlot. Merlot. Mm. Oh man, you got the nose. That's a, that's a bigger than a regular Merlot nose. That's for sure. Oh my god. Okay, so the majority of the Merlots that I normally get uh, out of Washington State have this kind of like licorice to them, right? Uh, I would say kind of like an anisette kind of back. It, it's kind of like having a, a blueberry and you cover it in a small, uh, small amount of like uh, Coffee, chocolate, syrup, and then you, you might get some mocha out of this. Yeah, totally. And then you kind of throw a little bit of pepper on it and a little bit of anisette, and that's what I get normally out of the other side. This one, I'm getting a little tiny bit of licorice, like a Twizzler, like a black Twizzler type thing. You guys know what that means, the black Twizzlers? Yeah. And if you don't, go back to the foreshadow uh, from Book Walter, you'll figure that one out. They get like dark cherries, like almost about to fall off the tree, right? You know? Some plum. Some plum. I got the plum. You got the plum. Yeah, I actually got the plum. I had the plum. I had the plum, but you have to actually eat through the skins to get this. You do. Alright, let's try it. Is it good with that? What is that? It pairs incredibly well with the beef tartine. Beef tartine. Yes. Is it like a beef tartare type thing? It's rare beef. It's rare beef. Not and it pairs really well with the tartine here? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll post the pictures. We might even post what he's eating on, on camera. Uh, we'll... <laughs> It'll be gone. You know what? Hold on a second. Check this out. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Oh, there we are. All right. So here's the 2006 Merlot. Uh, and the beef tartine from Andrew Luck. It's terrific. They pair incredibly well together. That's what you recommend is yes. the Merlot and the beef tartine, huh? Yeah. 2006 Merlot, 2010 beef tartine. Yep. I have a great menu. Yes. Definitely. Awesome. Now serving dinners too, so that's really You fun. are serving dinners? Yeah. That's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna have to actually drink the wine now at this point. We got we got that that um, that little uh, food interlude was uh, for Jen, Jen K. Miller. Allrecipes.com. You might want to check this place out. Um, Matter of fact, you and Nate should come out here sometime when the vitamin D deficiency in Seattle is going on and raid them out. I think you have a good time. I think so, especially Saturday night. A lot of energy. Hmm. So any day of the week, mm. it's a lot of fun. Mm. That's a Merlot. That is a Merlot. <laughs> That's wow. a full-bodied Merlot. <laughs> That's a real Merlot. It's not not like this overly like overly produced, complete like. It's really well refined. It's laid back. It's but then again, it really tells you, I'm a Merlot. Well, you know, yeah, right. I'm a Merlot, right? I'm a Merlot. I'm a Merlot. Here I am, but I'm refined. Um. And the fruit that you get on this, um, so the plums are there, absolutely there in the mouth, and that's the biggest thing I get. I get, um, I get blackberries big time. Mm -hmm. You know, um, give me the mocha. Right I'm not getting the mocha as much. No, I'm not. Well, yeah, I'm, I guess on the really back top end of the of the, of the palate, a little bit of mocha. It's really subtle though. Then again, everybody you know in Woodlandville, they know that I don't have that, that rate of a tasting palette. I've got an under palette. Everybody, there's a super palette has like 22, 23, 24, 25 taste buds. You got your middle at like 20. I got like 15. 
But that's why I, I smell a lot. I love smelling wine. It's just, for me, it's just it's awesome. But I'm teaching my daughter that too. Yeah. She's all, it just turned 13. Oh, so you're getting her Smell wine. it, smell it. Oh. Smell it, yeah. My parents well, what does Larry cut it. think? And I'm like, well, what do you think? Well, I smell this. What's Larry think? <laughs> that's adorable. Like, that's the best way. I mean, if you're going to teach some of your kids how to drink wine, or s smell them. Smell them until you're like at least 18, 20, 21 years old. At least 21. Yeah, you got to say that. At least 21 page. <laughs> you have to say that, right. Right. We're not very far from Canada, though, are we? <laughs> no, but we're on camera. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not worried about it. But uh, yeah, no, you obviously you have to be 21. And that's why I spit. I spit because, you know, I feel like I have to drive safe. I, I've got other wine. So, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm fairly aware of that. So, anyway, um, this is a great, this is a great Merlot. Great Merlot. Absolutely fantastic Merlot. Um, very, very, very well rounded Merlot. Um, the other day I said that the Foreshadow Merlot was one of my favorites. It still is, it means a lot to me for a couple reasons. But the Foreshadow Merlot doesn't have anything on this as far as multi character, well refined almost French style, but integrated into an American style wine. This is a good Merlot, and I, yeah, this is a good one. How much is that one? 2006, ooh, 2006. I haven't had another 2006, so can I say it's like my favorite 2006 sure. Merlot? Yeah, absolutely. This is a good one, yeah. I've tasted a lot of different wines, and I have. Hmm, price point? 34.99. Okay, good. Okay, so for 2006, vintage Merlot. This is a good one. This yeah. is a this is a good um, mid mid to high price, at least yeah for us at yeah. least. Um, that's one of my favorites. No doubt. It's all around. Yeah. Love it. Oh, I found a treasure. 